Hey there, and welcome to your web development for beginners course. I'm Abhishek, a web developer here at Career Foundry, and I'll be your guide this week. Before we get started, a quick note. If you're watching on YouTube, you can head over to the link in the description at any time to access all the resources in this course. In this first tutorial, we are going to consider what it means to be a web developer and take a look at some of the different types of web development, including front-end, back-end, and full-stack. Next, we'll introduce one of the core technologies we'll be using throughout this course, HTML. We'll also help you install the necessary tools and set up what's known as your developer environment. Last but not least, you'll start building your very first web page. So, who is a web developer? A web developer, at heart, is an interactive artist, someone who is driven by a deep desire to create things. For a web developer, the canvas, the artist's canvas, is the web browser. A web developer's job involves many things, depending on what side of the website they work on. Typically, in a company, you'd have people working on the front end, you'd have people working on the back end, and people working as full stack developers. What does each of these mean? Frontend is all about view. Everything that you see on the screen is frontend. But what happens when you click a button or you submit a form? You post something on your Facebook wall. The world needs to see it and it has to be first sent to some place so that it can be distributed to all the visitors. Now that thing is the backend. And the people who work on the backend are called backend engineers or backend developers. These are the people who code the business logic of the application. What should happen when a like button is clicked? Or what should happen if the contact form is submitted? Who should be uh, notified? And as you can imagine, there's the third type of web developer that is the full stack developer. As the name suggests, a full stack developer is someone who can work on both the front end and the back end. Depending on the scenario, they can switch capes and just jump into action. So let's get started with setting up your developer environment. This course does not require you to need any special tools that you'll need to pay for. For this course, we'll be using a web browser and a text editor. Uh, we'll be using Google Chrome as our web browser and Sublime Text Editor, which is a popular text editor amongst uh, programmers. So as you can see, I'm on Mac, but you should be able to follow the same tutorial on Windows or Linux. First, we open any web browser that uh, we might have already. So in my case, that is Safari. I just uh, search the web uh, or Google uh, for Google Chrome. And uh, with the first link, you should be able to download Google Chrome, the web browser for your operating system, uh, which in my case is Mac OS. So allow that, and then you can see the download completing. Okay, so as you can see, we have downloaded Chrome here, and uh, I'll just double click the icon so that it installs. Let's uh, give it a couple of seconds. Okay, we are good. Uh, so we have Google Chrome. We can check that by clicking on the menu and then searching for Chrome. We see it. Let's try opening it so that we can start using it right away. Allow. And yeah, use Chrome. Now let's search for Sublime Text here. Uh, so click on this link, click download for Mac. This would be download for your particular OS if you're not on Mac. Okay, so as you can see, we have downloaded Sublime Text. Now let's go ahead and click it so that it installs. Move it to the applications folder. And we're good. So we have Sublime Text installed. Let's open it. Okay, so I just expand it and uh, zoom in a bit. And as you can see, this is a simple text editor. You can type whatever you want here and then save it as a .txt file. But 
as you can see, as, as you will see in our course, this text editor has a special property. It highlights anything that we write that is code. So if we write HTML or CSS in it, it will tell us what is an HTML element or what is a CSS element. So as you can see, I have my Chrome running in this window and uh, my Sublime text editor running in this window. This is all we need to get started with actually writing code for the web, creating websites. We'll be writing some HTML today and uh, it would be a simple page, as simple as it can get. Consider this the hello world of web programming. We'll be understanding the things that we write tomorrow. So don't sweat if you don't understand every single thing that we are writing. So to get started, let's uh, move to Sublime and uh, click on file and click open to search for a file to open. We don't have one yet, but we'll create it just now. So navigate to desktop, which is, uh, yeah, which is where we'll be storing the page that we are creating. And just so that things are tidy, we create a new folder here and we call it portfolio to match uh, the project that we'll be creating. So I have now a folder called portfolio on desktop and inside of the folder, I'll create a new file. So let's just open that folder first. Close the other window. Okay, so as you can see on this corner, this is the folder that is the current project that we are currently working on, but there's nothing in it because we didn't add any files here. Let's do that right now. So you right click and you create a new file Press Control S, or you can do it from the file menu, click Save, uh, whatever you prefer, and let's call it index.html. This is going to be the home page of our portfolio uh, website. This is where all the HTML code will get written, as you can tell from the extension, the code that is written after the full stop in the file name. So we save it, and immediately you see in the portfolio project, we have a new file, index.html but there is nothing in it right now. So let's write some code in this file. Uh, we'll be writing the bare minimum HTML uh, to get started. So doc type HTML, we declare the type of the document. Then we say HTML closing tag, right head. title and we say my first website closing title tag and then we have a body tag remember that you do not need to understand all these things these will be covered in tomorrow's tutorial today we are just getting our feet wet with some web code so here i see h h1 this is an this is a heading so i say hello world and I save this file with uh, command S or control S. So once you have typed in all of this code, you go back to your web browser and you search for that file. So basically you go to file colon slash slash slash. And this opens your computer. Then you go to users, CF, shared, and then the desktop of your user and the portfolio, which we just created. So this path here would be different for you depending on what your user's account is and what your operating system is. So on Mac, it would be something like slash users, slash the name of your user, which in our case is CF, and then desktop, and then portfolio, and inside of it, we just find, we find the file that we just created, the index.html. We open it, and yeah, you see, hello world, and you see in the title, there is my first website, which we wrote uh, in the title section here. Now feel free to actually change stuff here and see how the web page reacts. So for example, I make, uh, I make the H1, hello world, my first website, and I save it and I go back to the browser and I refresh and there you see it. The browser read your code and displayed with the formatting, how an HD, uh, how a heading should look and how the title should look. All of that was understood by the browser because we are writing the language of the web. Well done on getting to the end of the first tutorial. Let's recap what we covered. 
We learned what being a web developer means and the different sub roles in web development. We also got a bird's eye view of the web development technologies that we are going to study later in this course. We installed the necessary tools and got our computers ready for the next couple of days of this course. And we created our first web page, made edits to it, and learned how to run our code. That's pretty good progress for your first day as a web developer. In the next tutorial, we'll dive into some syntactic aspects related to HTML, talk about all the HTML elements that we'll be using in our course, and create a basic structure of our portfolio page in HTML. See you there.